everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing very well today's tutorial is this let me tuck my hair away is this look so i originally posted this makeup look over on my instagram and it was so popular it was so well received everyone absolutely raves over it so i thought shall i do a little youtube tutorial about it and everyone voted yes so here it is this is one of my favourite makeup looks that I've ever done. I'm so obsessed with it. Oh, look at that. Lipstick on my teeth. So if you would like to see how to achieve this look, then keep on watching. Hello. You've already seen this is the look we are going to do. So I'm going to do this to this. To prime the eyes, I'm going to take the P. Louise eyeshadow base. This is in the shade number two, like the original rumor shade I haven't taken a dollop of that and just worked it into both sides of my brush i'm just going to start by carving underneath my eyebrow just to create a bit of a shelf for the brow to sit on so it makes it easier when it comes to filling in the brows later then once i'm happy with that i'm just gonna cover the rest of the eyelid with a nice sort of thick layer of the same primer And because, as you can see, the eye look is a bit more winged out, I'm just going to take my brush and apply a little bit more towards my hairline. Just to make sure everywhere that might end up with eyeshadow is covered. I'm then going to switch to this Buff and Blend BB08 brush. And I'm just going to buff off those edges. I forgot to mention, I put my P. Louise base on with the Molly O'Brien Jim Bob brush. I'm just buffing off those edges. And then I am just patting in that concealer to set it down ready for eyeshadows. So all of the eyeshadows I'm going to use today are going to be from the P. Louise Secret Cinema Palette. And I'm first going to dip into this shade here, Love Shy. And I'm going to apply that using a Zoeva 227. So I'm just taking a small amount of that eyeshadow and I'm just packing it on the outer corner. Just really building up that pigment. And then I'm taking it through the crease, not the whole way round, just about halfway round the crease. Because as you can see, the inner corner is completely blanked out, so I'm not going to waste my time putting eyeshadow there to get rid of it. So I'm keeping my shape quite rounded to start off with, just really building that colour, just packing it on the eye. Then I'm going to pick up my Morphe M507 brush and I'm going to use this just to lightly tickle along that line just to soften it out. Then once I've reached the outer corner, I'm going to start dragging this shade out to start creating that more of a triangle shape. So I'm just dragging from the top and from the bottom start making that shape for me so I'm just going to take a little bit more of my darker shadow just to fill in the triangle that we've now created and I'm actually just gonna drag it down and then we'll clean that up later with concealer so now that we've got something like that I'm going to take a clean 227 brush and going back into my secret cine palette I'm going to take a mixture of a mixture between in lust and hooked so these two shades here so I'm just going to mix them together and I'm going to use that to blend out my darker shadow so I'm just going to pack this on in the exact same shape as my darker really really building that pigment up and I'm dragging it quite far down because I want to make sure that when I wipe my eye, all my eyeshadows are hitting where I'm going to wipe and nothing's going to fall short. So once I'm happy with how that's looking, I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This is just the Ava brush from Molly O'Brien. And I'm just going to use this just to soften that outer edge. So I'm literally just going to tickle around that outer edge, just make sure it's all nice and blended. I am then going to go back in with my darkest shade, so back in with Love Shy on the exact same brush. So see how that's much more strong. We've got a bit of definition in our crease. Then just as one last little blend, I'm going to take that small blending brush from before and just dead lightly tickle between those two colours. Now we are going to blank out our inner corner and to do that I'm going to use concealer. I'm going to use the 
L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. This is the shade Eggshell, 321 Eggshell. So I've just got a little bit of that on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna use this sort of flap or fluffy brush. It's similar to a 227, but it's a bit firmer. It's not as fluffy. This was from Crown Brush, but the name's completely rubbed off. I can't even make it out. So I'm just picking up a little bit of that concealer. I'm just gonna start patting that over that inner corner. Depending on how dramatic you wanna go with this look, like more of a white-based concealer is better. Like, I usually use the P. Louise 0.5, but I forgot to bring it with me to film with. And I'm making sure that my two concealers blend together seamlessly and there's no difference, like you can't see my base compared to my concealer. So I've just applied a thin layer, like so. And then I just wanna eliminate the harshness of this line. So I'm gonna take my lighter color, but no, not an extra on my brush, just a brush, and just really lightly go over that line. And then switch to my darker. Again, not an extra on the brush, and just really lightly blend over that line just to soften it out. Then since our concealer is nice and sticky, I'm gonna go straight in with my pigment. So I'm just gonna take the Peaches and Cream Pixie Pigment, which is like a white reflect pink kind of pigment. And I'm gonna press this directly on top of that area we've just concealed. Oh, look at that. So I'm just packing that pigment all on that inner corner just going up in a straight line, right up to the brow. Then I'm gonna move on to the darker pigment. So for that, I'm gonna take Mademoiselle, another peaches and cream pigment. This is more of like a pinky rose gold. This is gonna go on the center of the lid because there's eyeshadow there, we're gonna need something for it to stick to. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my NYX glitter glue. Just using the same brush, I don't know if I mentioned what it was, it's the Zoeva 23 Floor. T 23 Floor. The Zoeva 234. And I'm just gonna pick a little smidge of that glitter up and just pop that right in the center of my lid and just feather that up towards the brow. Then I'm dipping straight into my pigment and just packing that on the eye. And again, like the last one, like Pixie, I'm taking that right up. And I'm just patting back and forth between the pigments to create more of like an ombre. So you can't see where one ends and the other begins. And same, just on this outer edge between the pigment and the eyeshadow, I want that to just gradiate. Gradiate? graduate i wanted to fade i wanted to fade outwards and that is it for the top of the eye i'm just going to take baby wipe and just clean up all the underneath and i'm just going to chip slightly away at this wing until it's heading in a direction i want it so i want it more angled up rather than down i don't want to drag my eyes down then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the same l'oreal concealer that i used to blank out me in a corner and just making sure that's nice and dry. Taking my Buff and Blend BB BB08 again, I'm just gonna pick up some of that concealer and I'm just gonna start blending that right underneath that wing. So this is just to fix my shape, make sure that wing stays nice and soft and just really sharpens up our shape. Then I'm just going to take the rest of the concealer and use that right the way along the under eye to act as my eye primer. Just getting that right up to that lower lash line. Then just on this Molly O'Brien Talia brush, I'm just going to pack on our darker eyeshadow right underneath my eyes and as close to the lash line as humanly possible. and I'm connecting the, that into our wing. And then I'm gonna switch back to our small Morphe brush with a little smidge of our two lighter colors. And I'm gonna use that to blend out the darker. Making sure again to buff that right into that wing. So 
So I'm just going to pop on a little bit of pink eyeliner, as you can see, I've already done this eye. I'm going to use the Kiko Milano Smart Fusion Lip Pencil in the shade 523, just this gorgeous pink. And I am going to attempt to do this on camera for once, I always have to dip my head out or something, but let's see how this goes. So I'm just popping on a little bit of black mascara, this is just the Maybelline Lash Sensational, ready for our eyelashes. Then I'm going straight in with the Molly Cosmetics MCM10 Lash. Look at me, I've done eyeliner on camera, I've done my lashes on camera, absolutely flying today. So moving on to the face, I have already moisturised. I am going to prime the skin today and I'm going to use two primers. First, I'm going to use the Fenty Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. I'm just going to take a small pump of that on the back of my hand. I'm going to work this into my T-zone areas. So I'm just really working that in with my hands. So that's dried down already and I can already see it's taken some of the shine away from my skin. Then I'm also going to use the Primark Flawless Finish Lightweight Radiance Perfecting Base. I'm just going to take a small amount of that. I'm just going to work that in around the outer portions of my face. So this will just add a bit more of a glow to my skin because we're doing a gorgeous glowy skin, of course, because it's me and what else would we do? For my foundation, foundation today, I've been absolutely loving this foundation at the minute. I'm going to take the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This is in the shade number 54. A flat foundation brush. I'm just going to start painting that on my skin. Then going in with the Peaches and Cream PC19. I'm just going to start buffing that into the skin and pressing it. Next, I'm going to take the exact same concealer we used to blank out our inner corners before, just the L'Oreal concealer. And I'm going to use that on my under eye and to act as my highlight. Building that up, this is another one of them concealers as well where you really don't need a lot. But this is me and I never learn. So I'm just pushing that in using this Morphe G34 brush. I think I've caught the sun. I feel like I've got more freckles. I feel like there's some new guys on my face. So I've just switched to my small fluffy brush again and I'm just using that to blend in under the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna add some dimension back to my face and I'm gonna do some cream contouring. So I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick in the shade F13. So I'm just using this large fan brush. This is Olivia Lane. I just got this from TK Maxx one day because I wanted one because I've seen Low Lav apply hair cream contour like this and I was like, I need to try that. So I'm just picking up the foundation stick on the brush and just working that in. And then I'm just going to go back and lightly blend out those edges. Then once again, I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush just to pass over any harsh lines, just to make sure everything's nice and smooth. I'm going to move on and set my under eye next, even though we're doing a glowy look. Like I said, I do get quite oily in my T-zone, so I definitely, definitely need to set my under eyes. This is a brand new purchase of mine that I picked up while I was in Barcelona in Sephora. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless F Finish Powder. This is in the shade number two, medium. So I'm just going to press that on through my under eye. That feels amazing. So I'm going to take the MAC Minimalized Skin Finish Bronzer in the shade Dark Golden. Just on this angled contour brush. And I'm just going to lightly stipple that over the top of our contoured areas just to set all that down.
to add some depth to my bronzer and add just a little bit of contour i'm going to take the mac minimalized skin finish in dark tan just on this morphe large eyeshadow brush i think it was meant to be i'm just going to get right in the hollows of that cheek and just really add some definition just a little smidge on my nose so now it's time for my favorite part it's of course highlight i'm gonna go for that pure insta glam glow i'm just gonna take my vitamin a hydration mist from Superdrug. then i'm gonna go straight in with my doll beauty um highlighter in shine bright i'm just gonna use this as more of like a base highlight because we're gonna really make it pop today. To really make that pop, I'm gonna take Doll Beauty in Like a Diamond, which is the lighter shade of the two. And on this Molly O'Brien Layla brush, I'm just gonna hit all the midpoints of those highlighted areas. Then just still using like a diamond, I'm going to pick up some and just pop it right on that inner corner to brighten those up. For blush, I'm going to take the Milani Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze. I'm just going to take that on this Peaches and Cream PC04 brush. Pack that right on them cheeks. Because it's more of a luminous blush, it's just going to add to the glow. I'm going to take the Primark Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm going to follow that line of concealer that I created earlier. I'm just going to sketch underneath. So I started from about a third of the way into the brow. I'm just going to start sketching through the brow, creating some hair-like strokes. Then I'm going to switch on the top of my brow and just start Dragging downwards, creating more hair like strokes. Then through the front of the brow, I'm just going to do flicky up motions. Just to set those in place, I'm going to take the Maybelline Brow Drama in the shade Dark Brown. For this look, I am actually going to do a darker lip for once and I'm going to take the Bourjois Rouge Velvet Lipstick and this is in the shade number 10. I don't know if it's got a name. Oh, Mag Magnifique. I'm going to start with my lip liner and this is the Primark Lip Liner Pencil in the shade Midnight. Now this is, I've had this a while, this is one of their older pencils, I know they've sort of redone everything, so I don't know if they'll still do this shade, but it's the one I've got. And just because it is a dark colour, I'm just going to colour in my lips. Gorgeous dry crusty lips there. Then I'm going to go straight in with the lipstick on top. Oh, I'm actually living for this colour. Then just to add a little bit of sort of sort of extra to the look, I'm going to finish off the lips with a touch of the NYX Duochromatic Shimmer Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Crushing It. Then to finish off the entire look and set everything in place, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Setting Spray, the All Nighter version. That is today's finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. This was very highly requested on my Instagram. I know everyone has been absolutely loving it. So I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you recreate this look tag me on instagram let me know in the comments below and i will be sure to check that out thank you all so much for watching and i hope to see you again soon bye